what are the most important features of equilibrium graphs? This is going to be extremely relevant for anyone doing their SACS, so pay attention. We've got this graph of nitrogen dioxide and dinitrogen tetroxide equilibrium, which is one of the most common equilibrium. Okay, and NO2 commonly manifests as a brown color for anyone doing this experiment at their schools. So a couple of really important things. We've added N2O4 here, and there are a couple of really important graphical things that you want to reflect. Number one, you want to make sure that your graph, wherever you make the change, is labeled as time of change. Let's start off with x and y axis. Time of change is labeled, and equilibrium established is labeled. You want to label your x-axis as time and make sure the units are seconds, and you want to make sure your y-axis concentration is labeled as molar. Now, in terms of your actual graphs, make sure they're the steepest at the very beginning, and make sure they flatline at exactly the same point in time and label that as equilibrium established. This is going to be absolutely crucial to you guys actually getting the marks for the shape. The next thing is labeling the actual changes. Your changes should model the stoichiometric ratios present in the actual question. Therefore, if I've got NO2 and N2O4, I know that NO2 has a 2 to 1 molar ratio. So I should expect the change of NO2 to be reflected at twice the level of dinitrogen tetroxide, meaning that my change would be 2x and my change of N2O4 would be just x. Labeling all of these shows that you understand that graph to an extremely high degree and will make sure that no teacher can mark you wrong in any way.